how's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. So we go to the video session. Here we go. <laughs> okay. So today's video is amazing one. So today we're gonna to be talking about why you must buy a good laptop to play games. Previously, GPD has gave us two systems before. <laughs> yeah. GPD Win and GPD Pocket. The GPD Win was a 720p HD and the Pocket was a 1080p HD. Both of the systems struggle to play games. They are not good for gaming. They're good just for playing basic games, but seriously, if you need a good system, they're not the choice for nowadays games. Especially if you 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 want the games to look amazing. We do know that GPD Win was just made to play PC games on the go. That's what he was doing. The GPD Pocket was not really a gaming machine. It was a, it was a mini laptop. A mini laptop. Very uncomfortable one as well. It was terrible. You really can't play games less than i5 and i7 cores. Believe me on that when I say that. They are one of the fastest CPU alive. Some people like i5 cores, some people like i7. Depends how fast the gaming performance you want it to be. But seriously, these cores are one of the best for gaming. They are unbeatable. Now, the biggest range is from NVIDIA, the Pascal Architecture video cards, which they actually made, the 10 series. There's quite a lot of them. They start from 1050, 1060, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, and Titan. And most majority of these video cards are available on laptops, which is pretty good. We do know a laptop is a mobile device, a desktop is a fully powered PC. Laptops do give you desktop performance, but that doesn't mean they're good as the desktops. They're similar to that when they mean that. Don't just think that laptops will be good as desktops because they're not. By far, laptops are the most powerful gaming device alive. The only thing that beats them is just the desktops. Trust me on that. These laptops aren't mo no more mobile devices, man. Remember, a laptop can be played on the screen and it can play it on TV. So it's used both ways. And also, a laptop is not just for playing games. It does literally anything. 
I'm not going to go through that what he does. We all know it's a fully powered PC <laughs> for travelers wherever you go. Asus company has produced many laptops from budget to the expensive ones. The GX700 is the very first water-cooled laptop. Yeah, it's the very first laptop using water cooling system. Now they're going to release a GX800. That is, that is so, so amazing. To have a water cooling system on a laptop is amazing. So it's, it's, so there's a laptop is behind it. Yeah, the water cooling system looks absolutely tremendous. The design is amazing. I really like the design. I think it's much better than the desktop ones actually. It looks much cooler because in the desktop you have to put it inside, don't you? But this one is placed at the back. Pretty good actually. So if we look to play some of the games, these games are not easy to work, you know. I really, really think a minimum requirement will be i5 core for games like these to give you really good performance and graphics for these games, man. Okay, here we go. Some of these tiles are pretty demanding. They cannot run on normal systems. Even they can, they just wouldn't look that good. Daryl I5 last round. Street Power 5. Near Automata. Um, Sonic Forces Killer Instinct That's quite a lot of these kind of games you know that requires these kind of things Imagine having an Intel Core i5 7300 GHz Full HD panel GPU NVIDIA GTX 1050 Believe me on that The graphics are Stunning On that kind of spec That will be a budget priced laptop But this kind of spec gives you really good gaming performance. Especially the Asus GL753s. That laptop comes on that kind of spec. The feedback that laptop's been getting is tremendous. I'll give you one shop. I'll take my word for it. ebuyer.com is the biggest UK shop online for, for us. And the good thing about that is oh my god, they sell that laptop. Every single feedback, right, from top to bottom. He's positive, man. This laptop is amazing. And the customers are happy with it, man. They're so impressed with this laptop, what it, it actually can do. It's for people who want to enjoy 1920 times 1080 resolution. And you could play most games, probably not all, 
on all true settings. Hmm. If a game does not run on all true settings, you can set it on high. This laptop is that good, man. You ain't gonna get a better laptop than this. The laptop price is pretty amazing. If anybody's looking for a laptop quality gaming and gaming performance, look no further than the Asus GL753. They are pretty good, man. And the other laptops, which are 4K, virtuality, they're a different story with them. But this laptop is fully for them people who prefer 1080p gaming. On the go or on your television. It's a great system to have. You can't beat this you can't beat this device, man. And on top of that, you get a 17.3 screen size. A lot of P a lot of PC gamers are getting into big screen size laptops. Because I really think gaming should be played on these kind of sizes. You can also play on 15.6 as well. But a lot of people prefer to play on bigger screens. Looks looks a lot better. And that's why people play on them. This is a really good spec laptop. I think I talked about this laptop before. I talked about it again and again. It's a great laptop. If you're seriously looking for a laptop at a good price, under £1,000. Get this laptop, man. Flipping amazing. It, you can throw any game at it and it will play it. As I said, a lot of games will play on ultra settings. If not, you could do high settings and mini settings on it. You have to make sure when you set some of the games on ultra settings that the FPS is quite fast. If not, you could drop down the settings to high and do some of the you know, the, the one of the good thing about this laptop is you hardly don't need to do any settings because it, it hardly won't give you any problems really. You probably never will. You probably will just sometimes, probably on more demanding games. When you buy machines like GPD, win pockets. Oh my god, they're annoying, annoying devices. You have to keep on doing resolution settings and other settings with them, man. You know, like reflections, shadows. Filtering. Boy, 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 man. I don't know what to say. Shadow resolutions. Effects. You have to play around with the settings, man, with these devices. It's terrible. Even when they're going to be releasing a new GPD Win 2, it's going to be the same story. It's the same story. If you're one of them person who really wants to play on the road, honestly, I've been traveling quite a lot. I have never seen anybody, even with GPD Win, on a bus or on a train. I am not joking on that. I've never seen anybody using them. I've never seen anybody actually using these devices on the on the go. I've never seen them. I've seen quite a lot of people using laptops. Yeah. 12 inch, 14 inch laptops. <laughs> the buses, man. They have buses. I think some of these people are people who are like IT workers. And because they're carrying their laptop around. So what they do, they just take the laptop out. And they start enjoying some of the games on there. I've seen few people doing that on the bus. Few people. I was so surprised this guy was actually playing a game. A lot of people have all been seeing they've been playing fine games on them. I think most majority of people buy Asus laptops. They made laptops for different types of people. 
Their gaming laptops are no exception. They're well priced. They're well priced. I think everybody can afford one of the Asus laptops. The gaming laptops I'm going to buy here. A person can afford them. Because they've got laptops that you can buy for your money. They're not there, you know, they're not just making like expensive ones. They also make budget type ones as well. I do have to say, when we talk about budget laptops, these budget laptops aren't normal. They are pretty advanced still. These laptops surpass any, everything. If you look at these laptops, right, especially in the eight, 800 pound price tags, these laptops are more powerful than smartphones, tablets, Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. None of these devices can actually compare with these laptops. Especially if you're running into Core i5 with a GTX 1050. There's no competition with that man. You cannot challenge them. These laptops will surpass them. The only thing that does surpass them is desktops. That's it. But desktops are not they to carry around are they? They're all inside your room. So I highly recommend people should be considering to buy Asus gaming laptops because they are pretty good. So you should get some of these laptops because they are pretty good. They are well built for PC gamers. They won't disappoint you. And they do have high quality components inside the body. So I hope this video has been very informative to you. That what type of laptops you should buy and not to buy. And they're very affordable. Give me likes, comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye from now.